Well, it's started to rain now, so I've headed into the potting shed because it's a nice dry place to work and I can catch up with a few bits and pieces. I'm going to be doing some repotting. This one is a perennial blue poppy. This is Mechanopsis Barney's Blue. Now, unlike some of the varieties which do set viable seed and you can grow them really, really easily, um, Barney's Blue is a sterile variety, so the only way to propagate it is by division. Now I know this is something that can be a little bit daunting to a lot of people so um, I'm going to show you how it's really really simple and you don't need to be scared at all about chopping up your prized plants. As you see this one has now got really congested, it's been in this pot for quite a few years and it really is about time that it was divided into smaller pieces which I can then grow on and once I've got enough I can plant them out in the garden and I'll have a fantastic show of these gorgeous blue poppy flowers that this produces sort of May to June every year. Now some plants it's easy enough just to tear them apart using your thumbs to break open the root ball but this is really really compacted so it's time to bring out the bread knife. This is fantastic, you can just carefully slice through the roots of the plant. The trick is to not be too mean and, and slice it up too small. What I'm looking for is a good sized chunk. Still going to be a nice big strong healthy plant. Something like that is ideal. There's plenty of roots still on there, plenty of top growth. If I get this potted on now it's going to get established really quickly and be well rooted into its pot before the winter weather sets in because that's the key thing. You don't want to chop them up into tiny pieces and then over pot them as well otherwise they're going to be sitting in cold wet compost over the winter and particularly if you're going to be leaving them outside um, or putting them straight out into the garden even there's every chance that they'll rot off. You could plant these out now, these are a fairly good size, but my personal preference is to put them into a pot. This is multi-purpose compost, I've mixed vermiculite in to improve the drainage as well, that really does help. And also in here is some slow release fertiliser, it's the granular fertiliser that is readily available. Now this is going into a litre size pot, um, it's going to work perfectly for this size of division. And you don't want to put too much in the bottom there. So the crown of the plant should just be level with the top of the pot really. And then I'm just going to backfill with some compost. Firm it in well, not too much, but you don't want the plant to be loose in the pot either. There you go, and that's it, potted up. Now I'll take this now into the polytunnel, give it a good soak and it'll stay in there now till next spring. But within a few weeks it'll start to root into this compost because the weather is still warm enough. I like to get all of my division like this done really before the end of September, certainly in this part of the world, and then the plants stand a really good chance of getting well established before the winter.